Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's wee Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome to the channel. And as promised yesterday when I'd done a video of these two beautiful new Rough Riders I've got, I said I would do my collection and I've cut down my collection of Rough Riders by a huge amount. Um, I, don't, I didn't like the, the big R as most people did and so I got rid of all my big R ones except for two which I can accept for different reasons and I'll tell you as we get to them. But I just thought I'd run through. There's Rough Riders, there's a Marbles, there's a Colt, uh, there's a No Name and there's a San Ramu. But the rest are all Rough Riders or made by Rough Rider in the same company, same factory. So I'm just going to start going through them. I'm not doing an in-depth in um, review on all, in every knife. I couldn't get that out there on every knife. But if there's any that you particularly want to see a review of, you know, an old, a, a specific one, Please let me know and I'll do that for you. There's not a problem. So what have we got then? Let's just start. Well, this is one I got even before I got Rough Riders. When I started collecting knives, this was one I got on AliExpress. It's a San Ramu. And back then, San Ramu made an awful lot of little small knives, lockback knives. And they're of the highest quality, I'll have to say. This has got brass and then steel on top of it. It's just a fantastic. It's a scalpel though. That's the one thing about this. This is a fifth pocket knife, especially if you ever need sort of a, if you want to poke and jam somewhere and you don't want to use a slip joint, having this in your fifth pocket is just amazing. Having it anywhere is a wee secondary knife. It's only a couple of inches of blade, but I just adore this. I've had this for years upon years. I love it. It's just a beautiful little knife. Put it in your fifth pocket. This dangles out and you can pull it out. So, a San Ramu from the old days. And it, honestly, the build quality is amazing. So we'll go with the wee ones first. This is another one that Pete, Jersey Pete, got me into. This was a, the, the small canoe, or baby butter bean, I think they've been called as well. Just a superb little fifth pocket knife. That, that's the joy of, of, of Rough Rider and, and companies like Sandra Mood. They make these little knives. And you know, there's so much work you can get done with these. As you know, with a peanut, one of the most popular knives about, it can do an awful lot of work that you don't even think about. But this little canoe is really sturdy, super little blade, lovely white bone. I don't have many white bone knives, but this is one of my favourite. It's done to perfection, fit and finish. Super. I love it. So don't pass up the smaller knives. Here's another one I've had for years. This is in the Stonework series. My only one in the Stonework series. Look at that shield, the, the, rough, the uh, horseshoe on the shield. I love it there. Absolutely love it. And it leaves the, the, the handle absolutely clear. And this, again, is another little lockbook. About the same size as a peanut, but just gorgeous. Really is that little, what's it say on there? Um, stonework, it just says Stonework series. So there you go, a gorgeous little knife. And look at all these individual pieces. And again, I've had these for years. This gets bounced about. It just gets bounced, thrown around my mucky drawer. And none of these have ever lifted or came off. Look how good that is. So just a cracking little small. Again, I'm going to say it's a pocket knife. And another one. This is their little brass one. And look at this. Where do you see this? Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous blade? What a lovely clip. And the brass has got patina because I've had this for years. Don't carry it a whole lot, but I do use it quite a lot around the, the house. Just another one of those easy wee blades that are so thin. But again, fit and finish. Absolutely fine. Really is absolutely fine. So, we'll stick with the brass and we'll go to this one. This is one of their cheap. Now, these are under $10, under uh, maybe about 10 quid over here in the UK. I can't remember what I paid. But look at that, you have the old cowboy chasing the steers. That's especially for TK, and there's TK on his horse. The old Texan that he is. So this is not a, a lockback, this is a slip joint. And uh, honestly, no, it's not perfectly centred. I could care less for that price, but it's 440A. This is a good weight to it. The fit and finish is excellent. And this would do you as a, a secondary knife <laughs> Or look for me, it'll do me all day long. This is a super little knife. For $10, can't be beaten. Can't be beaten for, you know, the effort they've gone to put into it is fantastic. Again, yesterday I showed these, uh, this new knife that I got here. And I got this from a, a fellow on Etsy. And if you watched the original video, I apologise. I put the wrong fella's name down. I bought two knives in the same day. And then I had spoke to this fella and said, we're going to team up and he's going to, I'm going to 
Well, not sponsored, but yeah, I am going to put put him out there because he gets knives that you don't see everywhere. He also gets just lots of ordinary knives, but he's a really nice fella. I really enjoyed speaking to him, and uh, it's his company, which is uh, SAC UK EDC. I'll put that down in the description because I probably got that in the wrong way around. And that's his channel. It wasn't, I called out Bertie Bulldog and it was the wrong man. So I've had to do an awful lot of groveling and apologising. But thankfully the fella is no problem. So I'll put his um, Etsy store down below. I had bought this and you'll see a review of this maybe tomorrow off Bertie Bulldog on the same day. And I just got confused yesterday because I'm thick. And then I got this beautiful one here from Jason Glover. This is the uh, the match to this, and I'm over moon. Now, definitely my two favourite Rough Riders. Look at that. I just think they're gorgeous. So there's a video yesterday on them, so I'll not go over them. And then here's another one here. This is not a Rough Rider. This is the, <laughs> I think it's the most sold knife on, <laughs> on Etsy, YouTube, anywhere. And it's only, it's a one of... 500 i must have seen at least a thousand of these up on sale so typical good chinese workmanship get you wrapped in but you've got a bit of real abalone in there and the bone is lovely jigged you get a fish and it's just called a sunfish it's a single blade the fit and finish is phenomenal this is genuine bone you've got a little uh clasp there and it is joyous a lovely knife again 440 probably on it 440a but it works, it cuts and it resharpens. That's all it can do. Uh, here's another one that's not a Rough Rider, but again, it's made. This is a Colt, and I just love this. Now, this is their version of a... Well, you can see the difference. This is a, supposed to be the gunstock, and there is the gunstock from Rough Rider. So they're exactly the same, except they're not slanted bolsters. They're not particularly gunstock. It looks better on this, but with a bone, it doesn't. But nonetheless look at that beautiful big clip on there could have done without this um but it is just the brown bone jig bone is just fantastic and i love it in the front and then you have a colt shield there what am i got it upside down yes i have there you have to have the colt shield but this is a super knife really great and one of my favorites and this is from marbles and this is the copper head I just think that green, the green jigging on that is just outstanding. Look at that fit and finish on it. And again, these come from the same factory. You get the long clip point. You'll get marble drilled on it. And then on the other side, you get just a normal clip. A lovely clip point. So, a stunning knife. So, there's so much to choose from. And that's, what, that's the joy. You know, if this is your price range, boy, you're in for some fun. I mean, I had, I don't know how many, I had probably near blooming 40 of them anyway. But, you know, I've let a lot go, but I'm starting to buy again now, as you can see down here. But I'm being more specific now and buying, trying to buy ones that are sort of classics that you don't get to see. Here's two lovely ones up here. This is one of the ones with the, the big R on it. But because it's such a skinny knife, this is a doctor's knife. And that High Plains Drifter bone is just stunning. I'm going to get that up. Look at that. I just think this is so well done. That brown bone on the High Plains Drifter is gorgeous. Slant art bolsters on here. And you have the big R. But it's not as noticeable here. You don't see the, the RT as much. So it has a lovely long clip point there. And then this is the way I've kept this one. Because it's the one that has the spatula on it. Which I think all doctors nice should have but in saying that recently and i don't know if you've seen the video of it i got this rough rider and this is beautiful now i think it's faux i don't believe this is real it's too uniformed if you like so it didn't say on the box that i got it on but this is another two bladed but you have the long pen blade and then a small pen blade absolutely super so another doctor's knife in shape and i have a single blade which is another brand as well so I have the selection of all the sort of doctor's knives you can get. But I'm always looking for more. Now, let's move over. Here's one of the one of the first I got. This is a Sow Belly. Um, I didn't like uh, these knives when I first came around. 
I really, Shy Billy Stockman or a Stockman, I wasn't keen on them. I didn't grow up with them. That was the thing, I suppose. But now I absolutely love them. I have, if you're going out and you're going to do a bit of work, it's only 448, so what? This will cover your day. You have three blades. Uh, take a little sharpener with you if you need to. But this is in my card, a very modern, lovely RR shield there. But just super, really good and sturdy enough blades that you can do quite a lot of work with them. I'll have to say, there's not much in my day you couldn't do. Well, there's nothing in my day you couldn't do the work. So that's the Sai Billy Stock one. And again, here's another fancy pants one, which I have kept. I've had this a long time. Look at this. This is the four bladed. I keep saying Senator, but it's not the Senator, is it? Oh, I can't think of the name of it now. Well, sure, it's nothing new for me. Nothing new for me at all. But it's got the four blades. Um, there you go. Look at that. Um, I think this is black bone. And then you have a little bit of abalone up the centre of it. And I think that could be pearl. Maybe even black pearl up the sides of it. But again, I've had this for years. Look at the back spring in this. And these are still available. And there's a couple of the knives that they have these in. Um, and they're just stunning. Again, if you're a whittler, what a great little knife to throw in your pocket. Still snap in. Love this little knife. Beautiful knife. There we go. Now let's get to the other one that's got the big R on it. This is the big trapper. Um, one of the few trappers that I have. I don't have many trappers. They're not a, a pattern I tend to carry. But I love this one with the blacked out blade and, and stone washed. It's just gorgeous. Again, I wish they would stop doing, you know, do one or the other, but not both. I don't like that at all. But look at the bone in this. And because it's it's copper, or sorry, that's brass. I think maybe even brass, yeah. Is it brass or copper? Maybe, yeah, copper. It's got to be copper. But you can see the patina on it. Fit and finish on this knife, superb. But that bone is just gorgeous. Gives you a lovely feel in your hand. Really, really nice. And you have my favourite blade on this one. Which is the Dirty Gert Spay Blade. Look at that. I love that with that swedge on it. What a gorgeous knife. What a gorgeous knife. I absolutely adore this one. Really nice trapper. I just wish you could carry it more. I just don't really... I don't know why. I just don't carry it that much. I've usually got a bigger knife and I want a smaller knife, usually between three and three and a half inches as my secondary knife, I suppose is the answer to it. And then this lovely one that Eric from Slick Slicer sent me. This is the Granddaddy Barlow and this is a Minter. Look at that. And Ram's Horn. Absolutely love this. Love it. Look at that rich colour in that bone. They really can do a great job and I love the big horseshoe shield on that one as well. Beautiful big knife. And it's about a five opening, which is not bad for a, uh, a granddaddy barlow because it can be quite, quite weak back springs on them. Right, we're going to get up to the, the newest sort of iteration that I have, the, the queen knives that Rough Rider have taken over and starting to do. And this one's not long for my collection. This is a pay it forward. Uh, this will be going to Justin on Thursday night. But what a beautiful little worn cliff. Not a little, you know, it's a fair size of a blade in that. It must be two and a quarter inches long, somewhere around there. But a beautiful, beautiful knife. And I just think Rough Rider are just getting better and better and better. And although this is a queen, but it's the same company. And when they're doing it for this, they're doing it for their own as well. So I love that. And then we have the canoe in the same pattern. Lovely canoe, good, big fat blade, centre blade, and you have a small pen blade. But again, look at that. And there's no Mr. Crackies on any of these. William, no Mr. Crackies. I've got three and I've no Mr. Crackies. And again, I'm well, my budget knives do get a bit of a batter and I throw them about all over, moving them from one box to another. And then one of the nicest little budget um, Barlows. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Again, the bone. Oh, I could eat that bone. I, could, I wish they would do it in different colours as well. So this time you have the little pen blade at the front. And again, you have the Rough Rider Barlow with a swedge. Absolute gem of a knife. Um, you know, this is where you want to start. These are great. These are usually a couple of pounds more than the, the normal Rough Riders, but worth every penny. Worth every penny. And then I'm going to come to my most recommended knife. And it is Rough Rider. But it is this baby here. 
This is the Rough Rider Reserve Barlow. If you're not sure about slip joints and you want to get something that's, it's not budget because this is, you know, this is a bit more pricier than the average Rough Rider. But if you've got that money to go up just a little bit and get something like this, I think these are around £50. An amazing knife. I absolutely adore it. Look at that three ring bolster, stainless steel bolster, brass liners. It is perfection. The micarta is gorgeous. That shield is an arrowhead shield. And then you have this beautiful fat spear. And maybe that's why you can tell I love it. This is lovely flat grind, but a high flat grind on a little pen knife. This is a just an everyday carry. At that price, you can't be beaten. D2 steel on it. You know, unbelievable quality, fit and finish. Look at it. Absolutely flush. There's no gapping at all. You have a stupid lanyard hole. I wish they would take that hole away, but it's there and I can't complain. It is a, my most recommended Rough Rider now. But, I mean, I love them all. And look at the colour and the different bones. Uh, and you can get much more brighter ones, and I will as time goes past. Because I'm starting to collect them again, because they've got that stupid big R off it. So you'll see them gradually get coming into the collection. It's not something I'm rushing to do. It's just when I see something I really like, it will. I've seen the new ones out now they've got with the, um, the white fox on them. But just super. So th before I leave, I just want to make sure I say this. Um... Sack UK EDC, fantastic fella over on Etsy UK. Get over on it, see him. He's a really nice fella to deal with and to work with, and he posts promptly. Really lovely, and I don't want to say anything against against uh, Bertie. What is it, Bertie Bulldog? Because I got a really nice deal off him with this, and his service was very good too. So it's just I gave the wrong name out yesterday, and you'll see this tomorrow, and I apologise to him as well. Because I gave the wrong name out on the knives that I was showing. So, only Paddy could do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this collection. And if you're just getting started, have fun. This, These are the knives where you find out what patterns you really like. And when, you get, when you're buying most of these for under £20, that's a great way to start a collection off. Don't let anybody put you off. This is where you find out where you want to spend your your saved money or more money that you have in the future to put in the knives you'll have the patterns already sorted out before you get there which is just great so there you go i'm away for a wee cup of tea i've still got plenty here and uh, i'll thank you very much and i'll see you on thursday night me and justin are having a uh, a podcast please come along it's live you can join in you can pop on the screen if you've got a computer um, pop on the screen and chat with us for five, ten minutes, whatever you want. We're open to all comers. So, there we go. Have a lovely day and uh, I'll see you for another video tomorrow, probably. Take care. Bye-bye now.